Coach, the last game on January 22nd uh, resulted in a tough 4-3 tie, uh, excuse me, loss. What did you learn from that game, and, and how did that game allow you to approach this game differently coming in? Well, uh, th that game was a little different pace. I mean, it was, it was at our rink. It's a little bigger because we play Olympic size over at the Mullen Center. But, uh, I mean, even, even their coach after the game, I think we had a, a total domination. I mean, I think we outshot them 48-12 uh, or something like that. You know, we just, we're just having trouble closing. Uh, typically throughout the whole game, throughout the whole season, we're out shooting our opponent three to one. We just can't close. So, you know, once that comes, I think with the confidence, I, I, I think we'll be back on a, a more of a winning, winning streak. But uh, coming into this game, we just wanted to do the same thing. We wanted to put the pressure on, four check hard. And the first two periods showed that. We let a couple couple weak ones in, but some of their goals, they were outstanding shots. No, not taking any credit from, uh, from Holyoke. They played a good game. Um, Holyoke's fourth goal was literally a buzzer beater at the end yeah. of the second period, and it looked, it, it, you know, it could be a little bit questionable, though, the, depending on how you look at it. Um, but what was the, the atmosphere in the locker room right in that second intermission when the Zamboni was on the ice, and what'd you tell the guys? Well, it's always a downer when you let something in in the last. You know, you got a tie game, and then you let something like that go in. Uh, well, no, it would have been a one-goal deficit at that time. But, you know, it's a mental mistake. The defenseman should know you dump it in a corner. You don't try to force something. And, and it was a good goal. I seen it hit the back of the net, and then I heard the buzzer. So there was no dispute on whether it was or was not a goal. It was a goal. Yeah, you let up, you're down by two. But they showed some real good confidence coming out and scoring two in the first three, four minutes. So it, it didn't get us down. I think they still had confidence. But then uh, toward the end of the third, we just let down a little bit. Uh, your next game is against Amherst Pelham. That's another tough one for you. They're actually number three in Hockey Barn's Week 7 power rankings for D3 hockey in Massachusetts. What are you expecting out of that game? How are you preparing for that one? Well, that's going to be another one. They got probably the best goalie in the league. Uh, so if we're having trouble scoring on other goalies, uh, it's going to be a challenge. Uh, it was a 2-0 two to, two to nothing or 2-1 to one goal. Uh, we win for us the first time around. It's going to be back at Amherst, so it's another big rink. A lot of these guys know each other, so you never know what's going to happen on a game like that. But we know they're they're winning. They're a good team. They got some good depth. So I, I'm looking forward to it. Should be a good game. They're a quick team. Uh, they got some. Uh, they got Martin's kid and a couple other guys very good around the net. Uh, they're fast. They practice on Olympic size arena. So um, last time we played them, I felt we were all played, and you know we stole the win, but. Tonight, we were a little sluggish first period. Uh, second, third period, we started playing our own game. Uh, kids settled down. I moved the lines around a little bit, so everybody's starting to get comfortable with each other. So We finished second strong. The first period, uh, it was more you know, for the players to settle down. I would, again, that was the first game that they uh, played together with their new line mates, and uh, they were just settling in. Uh, the DA felt we were a little slow getting to the puck, so it was basically just uh, step up your game. You know, we were one-on-one -on -one battles, we were losing, so I told them. You know, you got to win your one-on-one -on -one battles and things are going to happen. And, you know, we finished strong in the second. Um, power play has been real big this year. It's like last year, it was very well. Uh, our percentage, I don't know what it is, but it's way up there on the power play. Um, the, uh, you know, we picked up another shorthanded goal. I believe that's a sixth shorthanded goal this year. So we had a good penalty kill unit. Um, but it was basically win your one-on-one -on -one battles and, you know, settle down. They seem to be panicking a little bit, you know, getting to the puck. Because, again, Belcher Town's a very good team in her – Definitely in a run, you know, so. Any uh, individual performances that you were happy with that you'd like to recognize? Uh, yeah, Cody Miller's been uh, outstanding all year. Uh, he's a senior, big kid. He's about 210 pounds. Cannon of a shot. Um, Chris Menard, actually the two Menard boys have uh, been playing real well. Chris is only a sophomore. Um, he's been having a great year. I believe he's the leading scorer on the team. Um, waiting for Luke Delisio. He's going to be breaking out here anytime. Uh, extremely talented player. Um, Michael Back is back on D, Jesse Cummings, uh, Spencer Naraki. Those guys have been solid. Uh, Kevin Stefanik. Um, these, you know, they're coming in on their own now, you know. And, uh, you know, they played good hockey, but we're just focusing on getting to play their best hockey coming down the stretch here, get ready for the tournament.